Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're doing a little video about drones. And I got my buddy Arno with me. He's gonna be on the YouTube channel. We're gonna show people about D-Log versus, what was the other one you said? D-Cinematic. D-Cinematic. What the importance is of that, or with a benefit, I should say. We're gonna fly the Mavic with some goggles. He decked out his goggles. And we got the Phantom 3 Advanced as well here. And we'll talk about some settings in direct sunlight. We'll talk about distance and not being afraid to fly a little bit further, right Arno? You're gonna fly it a little further today? Yeah, I'll do it. Good. And uh, we'll talk about how to stay safe out there. So stay tuned. So regulations, Arno here has the quiz that now DJI offers on the phone uh, to make sure that you know what the hell you're doing before you fly this drone. Uh, they want to make sure you're staying safe out there. Do you see? These questions have changed, so look out on the field. I uh, just did a little screenshot so you guys can see all the questions uh, and answers, and just make sure you do a little bit of research behind them and find out why those answers were correct. Uh, there will be some answers that you'll find strange based on the new laws and regulations that have come out, uh, but this is the these are the right answers for the quiz, as you can tell. Uh, I got through it with flying colors, uh, but yeah, drop me a little comment or um, or message, and I'll answer any of the questions you may have about that quiz. First things you're gonna want to do to set up your drone correctly to to get the best footage possible is obviously switch out of automatic and go into the manual mode. Uh, this is where you'll be able to manually adjust your ISO and your shutter speed. Uh, and like you're seeing here, you want to have your ISO at least as close to 100 as possible to keep your noise down. Uh, and as far as your shutter, you want to try to follow the, the 180 degree shutter speed rule. Which what that means is that depending on your frames per second, and I like to shoot in 30 frames per second as opposed to 24 frames per second, you want to be able to keep your shutter at least 1 over 60 if you're shooting at 30 frames per second. The formula basically is frames per second times 2. Earlier, why I like shooting in 4K as a, uh, in 30 frames per second as opposed to 24 frames per second. And I know a lot of you out there are going to say, well, Angel, 24 frames per second is more cinematic, and you're absolutely right. So thank you for telling me that. Uh, but I like to shoot at 30 frames per second because I prefer slow motion as opposed to uh, having a cinematic shot with my drone footage. As far as the video file type, uh, I know there's MOV versus MP4, and a lot of people say make it easier on your editor, um, switch it to whichever uh, file format your editor takes natively and will process quicker. Uh, for me, that is gonna be MOV. As far as white balance, it just depends on the the area that I'm shooting and the time of day. Uh, sometimes I'm doing some quick shoots, so I like to keep the white balance at auto. Uh, but if I do have time to set it up, I like to keep it at a, a constant Kelvin because that'll make it easier later in post to color grade. If I have it on auto white balance, that white balance may change depending on where the drone flies. And if I have it set at a fixed white balance, it'll be easier to keep it at a constant uh, white balance or a constant color. Um, as far as the custom profile, now this is very important. Uh, on the sharpness, I make sure that I positive one. Now, the idea behind this is that DJI's drone um, software or pro the way it processes your video is if you are in low light situations or situations that require a lot of dynamic range and your sharpness is negative one, it will try to compensate and adjust for noise. Well, what ends up happening is that it makes it like a muddled like cloud, like smudge. So in order to avoid that, I tell the sharpness to be plus one so it never has the ability to kick in that noise reduction um, feature inside the software where it's processing that video. So again, I, I keep my sharpness plus one and my contrast negative one and saturation negative one. And again, this is also because I color grade my footage. If you don't have a need to color grade, you can set it to any of the, the profiles out there. 
Now for D log, I prefer to shoot in D log because it's a flatter profile. And again, because I take my time to color grade, it gives me a better result. Cinelike is going to give you a little bit more um, in, in contrast and saturation. Uh, so it'll still be a flattish profile, uh, but it requires less color grading in order to get it to look just nice. Updating. This is why you try to update before you come out to shoot. Time. He did it. Last he time. did it. And then, like, I don't know, out of nowhere, this thing wants to update again. It's not a gear. It is. What do you plan on doing with it? Mostly real estate stuff. Real estate marketing videos. To stay safe, always have a buddy. Look out for you so you don't hit things. Especially if you have one of these things. DJ has uh, their cool ass goggles and Arno customized them. So while he's in those goggles, I watch out for the drone so that I can tell him if there's any emergencies coming up, anything crazy. Uh, but he's looking, doing pretty good. Those goggles are really sharp. I tried them out earlier, but those are the kind of things you want to do to stay safe. You want to have a buddy with you, spotting, making sure he's looking out for you. I wasn't doing my job there for a second, but now I'm back, back at it, Focus. But I think you get the idea. And another thing you want to do is check your updates. So that's what we did earlier. Well, he did it last night and then we had to do it all over again today just to make sure we were staying completely safe. After checking your updates, you want to go run through a checklist. I normally have a, a checklist that I go through where I check the propellers, check the remote, make sure I have enough battery. The idea on a sunny day like this is you may want to have some polarized glasses on, sunglasses on like I do. Uh, these are by my friends over at Shady Rays. I'll put a little link below. I'll put a whole list of links below just for you guys. Uh, all sorts of stuff. I'll put all this gear that we have out here, some of the stuff that I'm using now. Uh, I'm sure you guys would like to see all this kind of stuff and, and you will, you will, I promise. I know you have a list out there and this is probably one of the first, episode one, of the tutorial videos that you've seen me promise to give you. And I really do, I promise, I wanna get them out for you. I feel like today may be one of those days that I get a sense of accomplishment, uh, thanks to my buddy Arno coming out with me. Uh, but I will be creating more of these videos for you guys. Um, and I want to help you. Just like I'm going to help my buddy Arno. I'm going to help him get on YouTube. Set up his YouTube channel. And I'll walk you guys through that as well. But this will be episode one. Of my kind of tutorial style videos. Where I get to show you a little bit about what I do. To practice. Remember I don't just create these things. Or document stuff. I also teach. So I want to show you a little bit about how I teach. So we came out here to this awesome park. This is Vista View for those of you that don't know. Uh, but yeah, you could come out here, clear day, no one to bother you, and you could be safe because there's nothing for you to really hit except a tree, uh, but you should be able to avoid a tree. Uh, but yeah, every Monday, I feel like Monday, I feel like Monday is gonna be a good day. Mondays are normally sucky days. But if I add this as my goal every Monday to shoot you a little tutorial video for every Monday, I feel like my Mondays will be a lot better with you in it. So that's what I'm going to do. Every Monday we're going to hit these up and today's the first. Uh, keep a lookout on the other ones. Submit some topics if you like. If you like this and you're new, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it. And if you really dig it, make sure you hit the bell to get notified on the Monday that I release these videos. 
if you really, really, really like it and you kind of like the way I teach, head over to Instagram, come follow me there. I post some of my portfolio-ish pictures. I'm going through a portrait phase now, so you'll see a lot of portraits of me and my friends. Um, and yeah, that's it. I don't know. You might see some more videos. Wait, I should show you some drone footage. Yeah, drone footage would be good. Ready? Here, I'm gonna throw you in the air. <laughs>